welcome back Flare community. Today we're going to discuss the governance of the Flare network and how holding Spark will give you your say in how the network will progress. So first, let us define governance. Governance can be defined as the system by which entities are directed and controlled. Governance is a process of decision making for a particular entity, in this case, the Flare Network. Governance will influence how the Flare Network's objectives are set and achieved and how performance is optimised. So now we know what governance is, let's relate this back to the Flare Network. For every spark that you hold, you will receive one governance vote. You will also receive a data provider vote, but that is outside the scope of this video. This governance vote will create a network of individuals with each holder of Spark having their say on how they believe the Flare network should be run. One important thing to note is that your vote is completely detachable from your Spark. This is a game changer. It means that you can utilize Spark with applications such as those being built by Flare Finance while still retaining your ability to vote on how you think the network should function. This is a unique feature to the Flare network. The more Spark a person holds, the more votes that they will have, meaning the weight of their votes is proportional to how much they hold. More votes equals bigger influence. Great, so what can we actually vote on? Well, if you look at the Flare Network white paper, which you can find a link in the description, you can find out everything you need to know. Let's first begin by understanding that decisions can be made without everyone agreeing. In fact, there are three different categories in which decisions are made, each with their own unique criteria. We have the simple majority, the supermajority, and the super super majority. Decisions in the simple majority category require at least 30% of Spark holders to vote, and of those who voted, more than 50% should be in favour of the change. Decisions in the supermajority category require at least 50% of Spark holders to vote, and of those who voted, more than 66% should be in favour of the change. Finally, decisions in the super supermajority category require at least 70% of Spark holders to vote, and of those who voted, more than 80% should be in favour of this change. So why do we have three different categories? Well, some changes may affect the Flare network in a small way. Others may change the functionality substantially. So let's take it a step further and look at some of the different voting decisions we will be able to make as a holder of the Spark token. Decisions in the simple majority include transactional cost parameters and oracle composition. Decisions in the supermajority include consensus parameters, oracle update frequency, F asset value thresholds, Flare time series oracle reward rate, F assets to be included in the network, and oracle voting periods. Finally, the decisions for the super super majority include additional Spark distribution, Oracle methodology update, and other network code changes. So what is it that we can actually change on the Flare network? Well, Flare governance parameters fall into three different categories. The Flare network itself, Spark token parameters, and the Flare Time Series Oracle parameters. 
let's start with the Flare network parameters. Holders of Spark will be able to vote to change the UNL, or unique node list parameters, consensus parameters, and various network code changes. Regarding the Spark token, holders can vote to change the Spark to gas unit conversion and additional Spark distributions. Finally, the holders of the Spark token can vote on various changes to the Flare Time Series Oracle. These include the FTSO reward rate, the F asset value threshold, Oracle update frequency, Oracle voting period, F asset inclusion, Oracle methodology updates, and changing Oracle series composition. Some of these decisions can be automated, which I have highlighted in blue. These particular decisions can be implemented much faster than those shown in white, which will require a code change and therefore deployment to nodes. We discuss subjects like this and much more over at the Flare Community Discord. Please feel free to check the link in the description and come join the family. So the thing I want you to take away from this video is that your vote matters and your vote counts. Your governance vote is completely detachable from your spark and the more spark you hold, the bigger influence you will have on these decisions. Have your say and help steer the direction of what will be a completely autonomous network. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you want to see more videos like this, then please feel free to subscribe for future content. Have a great day everyone, and until next time, I'm out.